It is not perfect, but it is on the whole an enormous success, which you would not guess from reading much of the reportage, especially in English, and especially by reporters who don't read German and don't really know what's going on, because there's been a concerted disinformation campaign for about four or five years now to represent the Energiewende as a failure uh, and to represent it as doing pretty much the opposite of what it actually has done. Uh, it has not subsidized renewables, for example, but simply provided an orderly way for buying them and allowing them to connect to the grid and be dispatched whenever they're cheaper to operate, which is virtually always because they have no fuel. It has been very inconvenient for the utilities, and not only in Germany, the, the 10 biggest electric companies on the continent lost about half their market cap in five years because they bet against the energy vendor and they lost their bet. It isn't that they weren't told. Many of us actually tried to tell them for a decade ahead what was going to happen, but they didn't believe it. But on the whole, the energy vendor has been terrific for German industry and uh, energy security and economics and for the world because it so got China's attention that China started scaling massively in the building of solar and wind power and other renewables and thus brought the price down to every, for everybody in the world and therefore triggered the global energy revolution that's now well underway. So we all owe a great debt to Germany for starting the feed-in tariff and other mechanisms and fair grid access that created this remarkable uh, policy initiative.